By June of last year, the quickly spreading Ebola epidemic in West Africa was already the deadliest ever. Aid workers urging the World Health Organization to declare an emergency. It's important because it gives a clear signal that nobody can ignore the epidemic anymore. WHO chief Dr. Margaret Chan says the epidemic caught the world by surprise. The first such signal came on 20th of July when the case of um, a person from Liberia traveled by air to go to Nigeria. Documents and emails obtained by the Associated Press revealed that WHO leaders resisted sounding the alarm for two months. In a March 25th memo to WHO's Africa director, officials described the panic created by Ebola appearing in Guinea for the first time, how health workers were dying, and that suspect cases had already been reported from nearby Sierra Leone and Liberia. A week later, the outbreak's significance was downplayed. In terms of size of Ebola outbreaks, uh, there have been a couple of outbreaks at least which have been much larger than this one. By mid-April, an experienced WHO expert wrote that many staffers at a leading Guinea hospital had been exposed to the virus. What we see is the tip of an iceberg, he wrote in an email to head office warning in all caps, we need support. Internal documents show WHO's top leaders held off on declaring an emergency to avoid angering the countries involved interfering with their mining interests or putting restrictions on the Muslim pilgrimage to Mecca. In a June 5th email, senior WHO director Dr. Sylvie Briand said declaring an emergency was a last resort, adding that it could inflict catastrophic economic damages to developing countries. Critics insisting a declaration would save lives. I remember distinctly uh, one exchange that we had together when I have told her Dr. Chan, the Ebola epidemic in West Africa is out of control. And then she looked at me and she said, Dr. Liu, I'm not that pessimistic. And I just said, Dr. Chan, I'm not being pessimistic. I'm just being realistic. The declaration was made eventually on August the 8th, by which point nearly 1,000 people had died from Ebola. WHO's Ebola response leader, Dr. Bruce Elwood, couldn't say whether an earlier declaration would have made a difference. You know, had we declared it earlier, um, it's it very, very difficult to say whether or not perceptions would have been different, how it would have affected the response. Eventually, the emergency declaration did help trigger a bigger international response. WHO acknowledges acting too slowly, but says the virus's spread was unprecedented, citing poor intelligence from the ground, as well as a lack of expertise and resources. Some 10,000 lives have been claimed since the first outbreak was reported in Guinea nearly a year ago on March the 23rd. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.